Hey, what's up everybody? In this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a scoring podium for your mini golf course uh, project. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is come out here and go to sketch. I'll go ahead and pick on this plane right here. Take a look at the top of this. And uh, so we put that tunnel in earlier. Maybe we should go ahead and put a little bit of an obstacle here to keep people, um, you know, just from trying to shoot the gap so easily to get to that putting green. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is create a rectangle. Okay, and I'm going to say that my rectangle size, we're going to say this is like a 4x4 four four po uh, post. So we're going to say 4x4. Four four. Okay, so we have that. I want to go ahead and put this at an angle, though. So what I might do is I might come up here, um, and this is going to be found underneath trim. Nope, not underneath trim. Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to be underneath pattern. We're going to be looking for transform, so we're going to pick on transform. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just grab that square that I just created, and we can see we now have this node that we can use. So we can go ahead and just put this at an angle. So I'm going to go ahead and green check that. I have that in the location that I want. Okay, I'm now going to go ahead and put this into an isometric view, and I'm going to go ahead and extrude that post Okay, up the distance that I want. And I don't know, maybe we'll make it like 40 inches or so. Okay, we'll bring it up just like so. Okay. So that's at 40 inches. <clears throat> now the thing is, is that the top of this thing is actually uh, going to be flat. Since we want to put some sort of a platform on this, um, you know, that's at an angle, we're going to have to come in here and do a little extrusion. So I'm going to say I want to sketch on this face right here. <clears throat> okay, and now what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to say I want to view normal to the sketch plane. I'm going to draw a line starting from this top, and I'm going to go ahead and just put a decent angle on it. It doesn't have to be too steep or too aggressive because we don't want things to roll off. And now I'm going to go ahead and do an extrude okay, of this. okay, And then that needs to be a remove. And I'm going to say that needs to go over 4 okay, to get all that, and then green check it. All right, so that's leaving us with the post, okay, and we can see that that top is on it. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch on this top. I'm going to right click and I want to say I want to view normal to the actual sketching plane. Okay, and then that is when we can come in, use a center point rectangle. Okay, I can actually go ahead and track off of these points to find our center. We should be able to, and if not, we can just eyeball it. Okay, and I'm going to say I want this to be, I don't know, 12 inches tall. I want this to be, um, I don't know, let's just say 15 inches wide. Okay, and uh, what I can also do is go ahead and do a transform on this, so I can grab all this, and I should be able to rotate this. Yeah, I kind of hiccup there. Okay, so let's take a look at this again. So let's edit the sketch. Okay, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say I want to view normal to the sketch plane. I'm going to come up here to transform. <clears throat> I'm going to select the entire sketch. I'm going to go ahead and orbit this over just a little bit. Okay, and now what I can do is I can now go ahead and begin to rotate this. Okay, just like so. I can also use my arrows. Okay, get this into the correct location. And sort of send this back. I'm going to be trying to get the center point Okay, of that board on top okay, of that existing post. I can now go ahead and green check it. And then at this point, this is when I can go ahead and do a simple extrusion. So I'm going to say extrude. Make sure to get all the board. Okay, also the inside portion of it. And I'm going to say this is going to be, I don't know, three quarters of an inch thick and green check it. All right, we need some sort of a rail at the bottom to keep the scorecard on it, okay, and to keep that uh, pencil from rolling off. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch once again on this surface. Right click on this, view normal to the sketch plane. And if we wanted to, we could just go ahead and use that geometry, use offset, okay, grab this, okay, put it in the right direction. We're going to say this is going to go up half of an inch, okay, and then just draw a line to cap it from here to here, and use a line to cap it from here to here green check that all right and now we have the ability to do an extrusion this bottom rail we're going to send this up i don't know three eighths of an inch okay and that would be a scoring podium that you would use for your mini golf course